Jackson here. In this training tutorial, we are going to learn how to do an aerial kick, which is no hands cartwheel properly with the easiest way. So if you are trying to do aerial kick and haven't done it yet, you should watch this tutorial because it's going to save you so much time. Okay, before we start our training, let's do a checklist. Do you know how to do a cartwheel already? And butterfly kick if yes that's great if not I'll put those two links down below so you can watch them later because those two kicks combined together can make aerial kick become so much easier okay let's start our training in this tutorial I'm going to use my left hand set to do an aerial if you're using your right hand set you can use the same method Let's start with the butterfly kick first. I will do it slowly. I face to this angle. Okay, you can see with the butterfly kick, my upper body is flat. Right? That's very important. If you want to do aerial kick or upper body, we change, we change our upper body level, become lower behind or behind your leg, behind your leg, okay? You don't aim straight for your leg yet, not yet, okay? We try to do behind our leg, all right? It will look like this. See, this is the easiest way to do aerial kick. All right, let's separate this move. For beginners, if you cannot just do an aerial without hands yet, let's try with the hands first, and then we can try without hands. We will do from two different angles. One face to this angle, and the other one face to this angle, so you can see clearly. Let's try with our hands first. From this side, we we'll do slowly. So this is from butterfly kick. We turn around. From your right hand side, you're gonna swing butterfly kicks like this. Swing your, swing your arms like this, flat. So your body can be flat. But with aerial, you swing your, you swing your arms behind your neck like this put your hands in the back see from here put your hands in the back and do a cutaway first turn around slowly and swing your arms put your hands in the back <clears throat> we do four times this is the third time, still slowly, turn around, from here, see, your left foot, turn, don't forget to jump, if you jump, see, jump a bit, like it last, from this angle, slowly, Turn so my foot and jump. This gives you height, okay? Height. Pa. Okay, and to the other angle, you can see. One, two. Put your hands in the back. You don't put the hands in front, okay? In the back. Jump. Let's do it a bit faster. 
Don't forget to jump. Jump, give your head. And then straight your arms, give your speed. Height and speed come back together. Perfect. A little bit faster. One, two, jump. See? Maybe you can see clear from here. One, two, jump and kick. All right? Like it last. After this, we can try no hand. One, two, whip. All right, relax first. Now, we're going to try without hands. So without hands, we turn around, bend your arms like this. Swing, swing your upper body faster, give you speed, and then you jump, okay? Now, to that angle first, you can see, I try to do slowly. One, two, jump. Sometimes, if you think, sometimes people doing on the spot like this. On the spot. You can do on the spot as well. But if you think on the spot to do it, it's difficult, you can add spinning. Because spinning give you energy, okay? And you can coordinate with the spinning, use the spinning to kick and jump. Let's try again. Second hand, uh, try to do slowly. One, two, jump and kick. Third time. Okay. Lucky last. Turn one, two. From your right hand side. Jump. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> slow, I will do slowly. One, two, from here. Jump. Jump. Faster one. Oh, yeah. Difficulty. We are we were doing like this. We're trying to swing our head behind the leg, right? Now let's make it difficult, which is gradually become a proper aerial kick. We are going to swing our head straight to a leg. Now behind the leg, straight, straight. Okay, straight. We try with the hands first. You turn straight, cut wheel, see? Straight, put your hands in front of your foot. Don't put, don't put your hands behind your leg anymore, okay? This close to the proper area. Straight. Okay, straight. <laughs> Face without the angle. Turn, from here your arms swing, jump, put your hands in front of your foot. See? We try this twice, okay? Twice. 
From here, when we're right behind that, jump, straight. Twice more, from this set. See, so you turn your foot, straight, pop. A bit faster. Let's try no hand. <clears throat> Still and turning. One, two, from here. Straight. Straight to your leg. Your head straight to your leg. Okay? Twice more. One, two, straight. Again, so try to do slowly, jump. Straight! Can you see the differences? Let's see. The first one we have done is like this. See my upper body? I put my head in the back, like this. The other one, the one we are doing right now, is straight. Straight, okay? All right, have a rest first. Okay, like I said before, we gradually add a degree of difficulty. And later on, we can do a proper aerial kick. All right? So now, let's try at a degree of difficulty. Once you turn around, you don't swing your arms from here anymore. You just, from here, straight down. You just add a turn like this. You just add a turn, face to the front, aerial kick. Okay, make it difficult, but if you follow the orders, you try the first method, second method, follow the orders, and this is a third method. Okay, third method. We just turn around, put your hands here, and jump kick. Let's see, we do twice, Face that angle. I try to do slowly. One, two, three. Face front to the front, and then aerial kick. Whoosh. All right. <clears throat> I will try to do slowly. One, two, pa. One, two, three. Okay. Now, can you see the differences, the second method with the third method? So the second method was like this. One, two, from here, and you straight. It looks like this. From here, and you straight. The third method is we just face into this way. Okay? That's very important. If you can do the third method later on, you no need to spin anymore. You just run to do an aerial. Now let's try face without angle. Let's see. One, two, just facing front. Facing front and jump. Jump. 
Okay, now, lucky last. We don't spin anymore. We don't turn around. We just go and jump. Let's see. Because we already get used, we already get used to the feeling in the air and with the landing as well. Now we just go straight forward. You can you can take more steps if you like, but in this tutorial, I just take two, three steps. Okay. <clears throat> We just go straight forward, we do slowly, one, two, two step for me, don't forget to hop, hop and jump, hop, jump and kick, alright, let's do this, one, two, Okay, you know you need to hop too high, okay? Just hop and jump. Jump and kick. <coughs> Do a bit faster. One, two, hop. <sighs> Next. One, two. And you can try to land lightly. See? All right, do a release with your arms. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Okay, right. So that's aerial kick. With aerial kick, you can do aerial front aerial. Also, very difficult one is aerial twist. So once you get used to aerial, later on we can learn front aerial and aerial twist. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Happy training, happy life. We'll see you next time.